Hi guys, so we're just going to jump straight into this kind of first impressions. Starting off with the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. This is like a smoothing primer, so I just popped that in the centre of my face. And then just went ahead and applied my foundation, just using my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in shade 4. And obviously blending that out with my damp beauty blender. And then I quickly run through my brows as well with this Anastasia Brow Wiz in shade Ebony. And I just start off kind of in the bottom part of my brow, then kind of shape the top part and then fill in towards the front. I always like to keep it a little bit lighter towards the front, more like natural hair strokes. And then I always take just a little bit of concealer and a flat brush and just kind of carve it underneath to really kind of neaten that up. I just think it really finishes it off. And if you've made any mistakes, then you can just basically erase it. And then I do just go in and set my brow hairs with my Benefit Gimme Brow because it just kind of keeps them in place and adds a little bit of extra colour. So now that the brows are on, we can just get on with the eyes and I'm using two palettes from e.l.f. today. I'm just starting off with the Mad for Matte palette and this kind of light pink shade here just as my transition colour. And then I do go in with the kind of darker brown purpley shade and pop that in the inner and outer corner because I wanted to create like a halo eye for today. Um, and I'm just kind of taking a few of the different um, darker shades in the palette and just popping that in and then blending it out. And then going into the Need It Nude palette, I'm also taking the dark shade um, from that palette and just kind of blending that in as well and then using the kind of bronzy shade in the centre of the lid and just packing that out with my MAC 242. Then I'm just going to pop on my absolute favourite lashes ever which is the House of Lashes Iconics. I'm just, oh, I love those lashes so much and then just popping my Maybelline Age Rewind in all the areas I want to highlight and blending that out again with my Damp Beauty Blender and you want to make sure that you set that immediately obviously because we don't want to crease anywhere so I'm just using my RCMA No Colour Powder. This is a super affordable powder and it's really kind of finely milled so you never look cakey or anything underneath the eyes. Then I do just go in and set the rest of my face as well because I have quite oily skin so I like to do this plus it provides a bit of extra coverage to make you look really flawless. I'm just using my MAC uh, Studio Fix Powder. As I always do I'm just using a banana powder for those areas as well and I'm just using the one from my e.l.f. Cosmetics Contour Palette. And then I'm just going in to bronze up my face a little bit using the St. Lucia palette from e.l.f. And I use that to kind of bronze up my face a little bit, but I did feel that it was a little bit kind of muddy looking. So I also took the contour shade, this contour shade from the palette as well. But I don't know, I did think it looked a little bit muddy to be honest with you. So I just went back in with my foundation powder and went over it and then it looked absolutely fine. Quickly going back to the lower lash line, I'm just taking a combination of the darker shades that we used on the lid and just running that underneath and finishing it off with a little bit of mascara for the bottom lashes. Then going into my e.l.f. Cosmetics Illuminating Palette, I took the lighter shade and just popped that in all of the areas that I wanted to highlight, like the top, tops of my cheekbones, cupid's bow, inner corners, all of that good stuff. For blush I decided to use two. First I went in with the one from the St. Lucia Palette and then in the proper e.l.f. Cosmetics Blush Palette I just took the orangey one, I just thought it kind of complemented the eyes quite well. So I just pop that straight on the apples of my cheeks. This next product is actually really cool. It's like a lip exfoliant in kind of the shape of a lipstick. And it smells like super minty. And then you just basically get rid of the residue with like a makeup wipe afterwards. And your lips like feel so smooth. And then it's like a perfect base for your lipstick. And the lipstick I decided to go with today is Melba Peach from Bobbi Brown. I think it's the first high-end lipstick that I ever bought. And it's just one of my like old time favourites. But I haven't used it in ages. And I just thought it went really well with the look. Then I just needed to do something with my hair and that is the final look you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of first impressions of the new Elf Cosmetics products that I was sent. I actually really like most of them. The, the contour shades and the kind of bronzer shade I'm not so sure about but the rest of it I absolutely love. Um, and yeah, if you did like it make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!